All right, folks, time for the podcast bonus segment here on a fantastic show all about CES, the Consumer Electronics Show. And we have Jim Harris himself, at Jim Harris, famous Canadian broadcaster, social media guru. He goes to CES every year. Jim, you've watched this year after year. And these days, it's just getting so amazing as these technologies come together, the fusion of AI, drones, robotics, all these different disciplines are now coalescing to create some amazing technologies. What are you excited about at this year's CES? Uh, Jim Harris here. I'm so excited to be going to CES this year. Everything, the number one topic for the last year has been AI. AI, ChatGPT, generative AI. I go to 60 conferences a year and every single conference, the top trending topic is AI. So let's... Uh, look at CES this year. I think you're going to see AI embedded into every product announcement. In fact, if you're seeking to raise capital and you don't have AI in your pitch deck, you're not getting funded. And uh, every year, Google has its I.O. developer conference. It's a three-day gab fest, and uh, the CEO has a two-hour keynote. And there is a great little summarization of the entire event uh, on the internet and you you watch it and it's uh, the CEO and he it's a uh, edited clips of highlights and it's just 12 seconds of him saying AI AI generative AI we are going to embed AI into these products AI 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 it is hilarious but that is really the essence of what's going on so the number one trend at CES in Las Vegas in January is going to be AI generative AI, chat GPT. The second trend I really think is the API economy. Um, mm -hmm. An API allows two different programs to communicate. And I was keynoting it for independent insurance agents in uh, Minnesota or in Minneapolis rather. And uh, one agent who spoke after me is using Zapier, which uh, is a program that allows different API calls to work together from different systems. He's automated getting a life insurance quote at 4 a.m. in the morning. So you go onto his website, you key in your age, your uh, total income per annum, how much you uh, own of your house, your equity in it, uh, how many dependents you have, all those kind of things. It uses ChatGPT, it goes out, Zapier goes out to ChatGPT and says, given all these parameters, how much life insurance should this individual carry? Number comes back, they take that and then send out a call to the most tech forward insurance broker in the US saying, give me quotes for this much life insurance for all these parameters, it comes back one second later with 10 quotes. They take the best quote, the lowest priced one, and then they embed that in, uh, you know, they say, GPT, write me a uh, selling letter. So why you should deal with our brokerage. Here's how much life you should carry. Why we recommend this amount. Um, how our public or how uh, we serve our customers. And so from the customer's perspective, they've just keyed all their data into the web and three seconds later in their inbox is a one and a half page selling letter uh, and they can bind at four in the morning or it'll say, if you want to, you can call one of our service reps after 9 a.m. Do you think this guy is gonna outsell his competition? His name's CJ, he's, he's a great guy, I love him. Uh, another thing he said is this, you know, he also sells PNC, property and casualty, and 85% of the quotes that his staff time spend time uh, quoting for house policies are people doing what if scenarios, you know, they're young couples who haven't bought a house yet, they want to know what all the costs are. 85% of those queries that his staff used to have to spend time writing up a proposal are all automated now. If you are doing this and your competitors are not, are you gonna win over time against them? So that your staff aren't spending 85% of their time on quotes that will never transact, they're spending time on the 15% that do actually transact. So first trend AI, second trend API economy, and there are literally trillions of API calls now. So when you're choosing a software partner, 
how are they tech forward? Are they, do they have a roadmap to embed AI? Do they have an open AI uh, API policy uh, of integrating with other systems? These are really important questions going forward. So uh, the third thing I'll say is uh, 5G. Of course, 5G isn't a new story, but 5G is impacting everything as we get into a distributed work environment. You know, this smartphone that I'm talking to you on, Eric, has more raw computing power than IBM's mainframe that beat Gary Kasparov in chess in 1997, right? That was a hundred million dollar, I feel like Dr. Evil, a hundred million dollar project for IBM Deep Blue. And I have more raw computing power in my fingers talking to you over Zoom right now. So uh, are we using the mobile economy? Are we using that supercomputer in the hip pocket or purse of our customers and prospects? So mobile centric, uh, computing at the edge, AI and 5G, these are all some of the trends that I think we're gonna have to pay attention to for this year's CES. I'm also really excited. Uh, I'll be going to Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, Spain. And uh, I'll also be going to the uh, to Davos for the World Economic Forum. So these are the three must attend events for me every single year. And I'm so sorry I'm not going to be on the panel today. It's going to be so exciting. Hey, well, no worries. Well, that was Jim Harris on the podcast bonus segment. Come see him at CES, folks. You've been listening to DM Radio.